on group five, and this is non-reactive energy balances. Problem statement is, nitrogen is being transferred isothermally from one storage tank to another. The gas enters a three centimeter diameter pipe at 25 degrees Celsius and 10 bar. When the gas enters the pipe, it is moving at an average velocity of four meters per second. When the nitrogen family finally reaches the second storage tank, it emerges approximately 300 meters lower than the inlet point, and it is at eight bar. Determine the change in the potential and the change in the kinetic energy. Assume that nitrogen behaves as an ideal gas and use the following information. Now the change in potential energy equals mass times by the acceleration due to gravity times by the change in height, and the change in kinetic energy is one half the mass times by the change in velocity squared, and the R constant will be 8.314 times 10 to the negative fifth meters cubed bar per mole Kelvin. I wrote down the initial information, the initial pressure, final pressure, change in height, initial velocity, diameter converted to meters, temperature, and the molecular weight of nitrogen as 28 grams per mole. So the first thing we're going to do is calculate the area. And the area equals pi r squared, which equals pi times 0.03 over 2 squared. And this will give us a value of 7.07 .07 times 10 to the negative fourth meters squared. We'll then multiply this area times by our initial velocity, and this will give you us a volumetric flow rate. So you get 4 meters per second times by 7.07 .07 times 10 to the negative fourth meters squared gives us a value of 2.83 times 10 to the negative third meters cubed per second. We then use the ideal gas law, PV equals nRT, and we solve for the number of moles. So N equals PV over RT. When we plug in our values, our initial values, we get 10 bar times by our volume metric flow rate divided by our ideal gas law or our gas constant. Times by our temperature, which is 298 Kelvin. We cancel out the units and we end up with moles per second, and that being 1.14 mole per second. We then convert this to mass by multiplying our moles times by our molecular weight which equals 1.14 moles per second times by 28 grams per mole and we convert this to kilograms. This gives us a value of 0 0.032 kilograms per second. We can now plug this into our change in potential energy equation. Then we get 0 0.032 kilograms per second times by 9.81 meters per second squared times by our change in height which was negative 300 meters. And this gives us a value of negative 94.18 kilograms meter squared per second cubed. And that is the same as a watt. So our change of potential energy is negative 94.18 watts. Now for the kinetic energy. Here we go. So the only thing we're missing is our final velocity. So we again use the ideal gas law at the final conditions this time. 
and we'll solve for volume. So volume equals N R T over P 1.14, 8.31, 8.32, 8.33. Times our temperature divided by our final pressure, which we said was 8 bar. This will give us a volumetric flow rate of 3.53 times 10 to the negative third meters cubed per second. We then divide that by our area that we calculated before. And that gives us a new velocity of 5.0 meters per second. We plug all this information back into the delta K equation. We get one half times by our mass flow rate times by 5 squared minus 4 squared. And this gives us delta K of. 0.144 kilograms meters squared per seconds cubed, which is the same as a watt. So our answer is 0.144 watts is our delta K. And that's the solution.